Hey y'all, today we're going to render tallow. We processed a beef earlier this year and we saved all the fat off of it and we're going to use the tallow to make soap with. So we got these two packs of fat we had left from our cow. We're just going to chop them up in little bitty pieces then we'll put them in the crock pot and render the tallow. So now we've got our fat all cut up, we're going to put six tablespoons of salt on it. And two quarts of water. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to take it outside on the porch and let it cook down. Why are you taking it out on the porch to cook down? Because my wife don't want to smell it in the kitchen. All right, y'all, this lard, or excuse me, this tallow has been rendering for about 24 hours. And here's what it looks like. So now we gotta go drain it off. So we're gonna take our tallow now, and we're gonna strain it through a mesh strainer and one of these tea towels here. And then we're gonna let it cool. Now that we've strained it, we just got the liquid tallow, we're just gonna cover it and let it cool off. So we've let the tallow cool overnight, guys. And this is what it looks like. It's just a hard brick right now, so we're gonna get it out. Turn it upside down. And anything that's on the bottom of it, we're just gonna scrape it off. I'm going to cut it up into a couple of pieces so we can fit it in the crock pot. And we're just going to repeat the process again. Like 
cut my pie. Gonna pour some more water in here. Turn it on low. Let it melt down again and we'll just strain it again. All right, y'all, we've rendered the tallow again overnight. We're gonna take it in, let it cool again, see what it looks like. Hey, y'all, so we let our tallow render again overnight. We put it in the refrigerator to get it to set. And now we're gonna check it again. So now we're just gonna see if we can't get it out of here without. Scrape all this junk off. So it still smells a little beefy. So we're gonna run it through one more time. And it let it gets less every time you do it because you get all the, the impurities out of it. But make sure when you do this, you wanna put your crock pot outside unless you want your house to smell terrible. All right, so we're gonna cut it up one more time. So we're gonna put some more salt on it. Help break it down some more. Water. Put it on overnight one more time. So this is the third time we've rendered the tallow and it should be perfect now. So we're just gonna take it out and put it on this cutting board like we did before. scrape these impurities off the bottom of it. I'm just gonna get a paper towel and kinda wipe them up. then it's finished. You can wrap it up in saran wrap and store it in the refrigerator. You can fry french fries in it. You can use it just like bacon grease or any kind of cooking oil. Um, and what we're gonna do with it, we're gonna make uh, soap and candles out of it. But a friend of mine told me at church yesterday that I didn't talk enough on the YouTube videos. So he told me to start telling some of my old fire department pranks we used to pull. So Doug, I hope you enjoyed this. Here we go. So the first one I'm gonna tell you, uh, we took a cooler and we put a cement block in the bottom of it to give it some weight so it would feel like something was in it. Then we took a rubber snake and took some fishing line and tied it around the snake's neck. Then we taped the fishing line to the lid of the cooler and we put free drinks on the lid of the cooler. So when somebody would jerk the lid open on the cooler, it looked like the snake was striking at them. And we got a lot of fun out of that. People would scream and run, all kind of stuff. So if you want to hear more of these stories, just keep watching our videos and I'll throw one in here and there. You guys have a blessed day. Don't forget to like our channel, subscribe, and share it with your friends.